I can't get over it. A thousand pound carpet bag in which you carry your entire life for the last ten years, but no key. Just a small key that weighs so little, yet opens so much. I said I wasn't perfect. Well, neither am I, but at least I have my key. certain ring to it, doesn't it? What say you, we avail ourselves of some form of local transport and wend our way to the airfield? After you, thin man. After you, thin woman. Oh, come on. you're being followed? You've been followed since you got off the plane. Who? Where? Don't bother looking. You won't see them. Who the hell are you? A friend. Our association has been monitoring their activities for years. Why haven't you contacted us before? Well, we thought you knew they were harmless. They've gotten a lot of bad press, that's all. In reality, they're the good guys. The government, and they're the ones you have to watch out for. What good guys are we talking about? You, me, the extraterrestrials, of course. The extraterrestrials? Right, of course. We knew that. Oh. See, the government wants us to believe that there's no such a thing as UFOs or extraterrestrials, but they're here all around us looking for friends. Today, they're following you. I warned you not to wear that perfume. We're building transmitters to receive their electromagnetic communications from space. This is your opportunity to contribute. No donation too small. <laughs> this is a miracle, brother. The Lord has sent you to me today, for he hath spoken unto me 
and given me a personal message. Called me direct. These extraterrestrial brothers and sisters that you speak of are but foot soldiers in our war against sin and temptation. Brother, in order to be part of the great plan the Lord sent you to me, in other words, your salvation is at hand. Salvation? Hallelujah! Say hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, in order for the plan to be perfect and to go forward, all you have to do is put your heart, your soul, and some of this cash in Sister Nora's hands. Welcome, brother. We uh, also take checks. I don't think so. No, thank you very much. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we thought Frank's flight was 286 for Chicago is now ready for... Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mrs. N. Charles? Yes. Okay, I'm on my way. After. <laughs> That's my boy. Your boy? You told me he was mine. Oh, don't start with me. No, well, now, now you gotta admit, you gotta admit you did you had a big part in this, but you know, the smarts, the genius, he got that from me. The ego. I mean, what was I? A bun warmer? Sweetheart, his getting my ego was the booby prize. I call him lucky because he got your hair. <laughs> we got a few minutes left. Do you want to get some pie? Yeah. 